anyway. I don't know. Slow and steady, come on. left at the next intersection. I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard, and that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid it's of a mother. Dark, so the lights came but he's on. not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. Hang all right. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. Through this intersection. Really want to run that risk? Just ignore this turn. You need to turn left at the next junction. Atta boy, up there you go right now. Straight ahead. I need you to take a left at the next corner. Just go easy, Phelps. So wait for the next turning and go right. You're taking the next left. Boy, up there you go right now. Turn here. Now, keep on straight through this intersection. It's left the next intersection. Watch it, will you? Son keep on going bitch. through here. Straight through the next intersection. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. I'm stumped. You want to take a look Ideas? at these rope samples of Mal's? uses for that kind of rope on boats mooring lines correct although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches so are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister well in my experience sailors seem to have the greater libido was mrs. Muller criminally attacked no external or internal traces of semen 
Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. On the central book. It's nighttime. I've never seen night in this game. I guess the case is taking so long. Exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the plan. You're a different man in front of the captain, Phelps. <laughs> you better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my saddle. Are they ready? Molar's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Boys, really come through this time, haven't you? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible god. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking right. for your sympathy, boy? You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. He is a family roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any workwear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Marine. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? Nice. I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. You're lying, Eli. You're a creature of habit. You just get out of jail and you're back to your old ways. You use a specific type of rope. That may be the case. But you got nothing that says I used a rope to hurt that woman. Okay, so... Do you hear this rope? Oh, 
I think okay. you should let me go. Is there some money coming my way for finding that butterfly? You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Damn it. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. I don't like you, Eli. I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli. The captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you made it. I want to make homicide. You know you made it. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the Army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. All right, good. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials H.M. found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. Oh, yeah. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Uh, Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. Oh, God. With pleasure.
Did I get it right? Uh, maybe not. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again, and your career as a policeman will come to no. an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! So I guess I have to do um, side quests. Oh, fuck. What a mess. Two regular army. Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. You're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There's no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Nothing got to know, Kai Soto. See that boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Interesting. Ah, oh, Phelps. 